Hey, what's up guys with a high you blast? I'm Serge. And I'm Oscar and today we are reacting to EXO's new comeback song, Love Shot. Now this is basically their repackage album from um, Tempo. Tempo. I almost forgot, I don't know why. Um, I don't know how many new songs we've added to this one, but we'll find out right after we watch this. Yes, we will. Oh, my chair is going to be good. <sighs> I like where this is going. Yeah, I do too. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, Kai's got it. Okay. This is dope. <sighs> this chorus is so good. Oh my god. I think we have no. Is late. Here we go. Give me the old lines finally. That was one of the complaints with tempo. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, dude. This is so dope. This reminds me of, like the low drop kind of. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Is this the first rapper? Oh, I think no, I'm not doing my yeah, I was about to say. <sighs> Dude, this chorus is so good. That was really good. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was really, really good. <sighs> what? <laughs> I don't even know. They just like... Okay, that was too far back. Okay, oh, I, I mean like... I actually, my sister um, texted me later on, earlier on in the week. And she was like... Uh, she's like, this is what she said. She's like, Serge, I nearly died watching Love Shot. And I was like, oh no, is it that good? And she's like... Um, hell yeah, too much sexiness for me. So I already had that, like, shit's gonna be on fire. Yeah. When we, before we go into this. And I asked her if the song was good, and she's like, you'll like it. And I was like, did you like it more in tempo? And she's like, she can't decide. So she, that, I was like, okay, I already had high expectations for this. Yeah. Um, and expectations were met. I find myself wanting to give it a 10. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 10 mm -hmm. too. Um, off first impression, higher than tempo? First impression, no. No? Um, I'm giving it a 10 on the assumption that it's going to be a 10. Um, tempo was like, tempo blew my, our, both of our minds. Yeah. Um, but this song was just, it, it's a 10 in a different light. Mm -hmm. The, I found the, like, part of the reason why I like it 
um, I'm giving it a 10 rather, is because their voices really seem to like dance along with the music like yeah. right before the chorus and right after it. The, uh, I, I love stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, there was, I don't believe Sehun had a rap break, but you know, that's fine. I, I, feel, I think they were rapping together in the second part, were they not? They might have. Did, did, I think Kai rapped beginning, or was that just his own lines? Uh, I think it was just his own lines, lines, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that Dio got lines, actually, because yeah. I know, I think in Tempo, a lot of y'all said that Dio just mainly got a lot of the ad-libbing during the, um, the acapella part. Acapella, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I mean, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Um, damn. Like, for me, I think off first impression, I do like Tempo more. Yeah, too, yeah, 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 But I think Love Shot is more... My style of song. I was gonna I say, say it really seems like you would yeah, like this I one think a little bit more than I do. This yeah. just has more R and B type feel to it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I just I don't know. I, I usually just prefer that in songs, but I don't know. Like EXO has been like on fire with these past two comebacks. And what was before these two? It was Universe, right? Yeah, Universe. Shot, tr oh, so it's. Huh. So four songs. Four songs. Well, one's three. A, one's a Chinese, Chinese version of yeah. Bloodshot. But um, yeah. What? 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 It was, was Universe. It? it was Universe, right? Well, technically, 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 it was Electric Kiss. Well, but Korean. Korean back. would be Universe in twenty seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So they only had two comebacks this year. Basically, yeah. Is that right? That's, that's crazy. That's totally right. I mean, I, you might be thinking of XOCBX, but no, I yeah, I know that, but um, it's just it's just crazy to think that they've only had one comeback this yeah, year. Yeah, man, that it well, pretty pretty crazy. They've only had these past two come Korean mm -hmm. comebacks, I should say. Bro, why is EXO coming out as hard at the later end of the year, dude? Why don't they just like imagine if they had released Tempo, like maybe like around September or mm -hmm. even August? I feel like. That would have been perfect timing, and it still was, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think one thing we're going to have to start understanding as time goes on is, I don't think EXO is going to be SM's priority. Like, EXO is a great group, mm. and they're always going to do good, but look at NCT. They're supposed to be SM's next guy group, mm. you know? So I'm pretty sure this happened with Super Junior too. Uh, when EXO came out, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not totally certain but i feel like something like that would have happened especially mm -hmm. since a lot of super junior members were going um to the military because i remember in a knowing brothers episode i was watching i don't remember which one but they were talking about a to Hicho and i don't know i think he is Hicho, just Hicho. but he was saying how uh when one of the members comes back it's gonna be the first time all of super junior has been together in at least 10 years or something like that because They've all had like been taking turns going to the military, um, and I don't know. I just feel like something that that's gonna start happening to EXO. Like we're probably gonna be seeing less and less of well, not less and less, mm. but I just feel like there's gonna be more of a priority on NCT because just look at how many comebacks from NCT we had. Yeah, we like had we've had a, a decent amount, and Dude. I don't know, and they've been pumping out great stuff, too. Yeah, and then so, there's also, you know, Red Velvet also had... And yeah, that's Red another Velvet thing. Red Velvet's four, taking over that growth. Four the, comebacks, right, I think? Uh, Bad Boy, Power, Power Up, uh, Cookie Jar, well, well it's well, Japanese, but, you know, Japanese. it's still work. Now just three Korean comebacks. Well, I mean, I'm counting Cookie Jar as another album, because oh, that's time yeah. they spent, you know. Yeah, that's true, um, I guess. So, I mean, yeah, that's... I imagine Red Velvet probably replaced SNSD, but yeah, um, that's beside the point. Um, I do, I do think what you're saying is, is yeah. technically correct. Yes, um, but that's beside. I mean, I'm so satisfied with EXO. I don't know if Love Shot will make it onto the top ten songs of the year. I feel like putting a song that came out in December. It's pretty hard. It might be like pretty hard to balance song, out when you yeah. compare it to the songs that have been with us since February, and we have <laughs> bad boy, and we <laughs> haven't, and we haven't stopped. Yeah. Like, you know, liking them, you know, Shine, uh, Bad Boy, to just name two of them. Yeah. Um, but I like how those are just as two songs of the always. Well, they were mentioned. good. They, they were, were really they're, good, they're, honestly. They're, they were really good. They're so freaking good. They're good yeah. songs. You don't get tired of them. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I'm so satisfied with this. I cannot wait to listen to the two B-sides, Trauma and Wait, Trauma if and I wait. recall. Those, I, wonder how, I really wonder how they're going to be. I wonder if they're going to, mm -hmm. like go along this style or it's just gonna be all different like mm -hmm. you never know and i mean i can definitely see what my sister was talking about so she's she's probably i think these two comebacks release like 
rekindled her interest in EXO. In EXO? She was always kind of like for BTS and Monster X mm -hmm. and um, I think there was another group. It wasn't really, like she liked EXO but she wasn't like super into them. Yeah. But these two definitely like, she's all about it. Now. It's funny, like for me, I like EXO a lot but they're just not that one group for mm -hmm. me. I don't, I really don't know why. They, like, I mean, I love just all their stuff. Based but off these two songs and the, and the I course, think it's because I'm not a, such a huge fan of their older stuff. Like, uh -huh. I do like Growl, Overdose, and all those songs, but I think I listened to those a little too much when I was first getting into K-pop, and it's just like, I I, I wasn't, no, not in the sense that I got sick of it, I just wasn't, oh. I wasn't the hugest fan of EXO oh. because of those songs. Oh, it wasn't okay. towards um, Love You Right, uh, is it Love You or Love Me Right? I think it's Love Me Right. Love Me Right. I could I mean, be wrong. I, 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 that's like my favorite song from EXO, and I'm I can't even like, think of the songs. songs. Um, but songs like the more present songs, Coco Bob, mm -hmm. uh, Love Shot, Tempo, like, I don't know, and even EXO CDX. Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't until later on that I really started enjoying EXO. And I do go back, I try and listen to things um, like Transformer, Playboy, all those other songs. But I don't know, they just don't always do it for me. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I think EXO will always have that, like, solidified spot for me. But I, I think they're just one of those groups that have been so long, I don't know how much they can grow on me, you know what I mean? Oh, like, okay. it's kind of hard to just take in no, everything. No, I get you. I do. I do. And like, from the past. It's much, much like EXID and Mamamoo, you know, it's just the way we, it's just one of those things. So. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. But um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like always, leave some feedback below, hit that like and sub button, and that's all. See, See you later. later.